this is good time. Yeah. Well, uh, next guy, he's regular here. He's the Heisenberg of comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wes Smith. Thank you, Bob. Bob's a man. Alright folks, let's get a little familiar and then we'll get weird, shall we? I'm aware I look like Eminem and Topher Grace had a baby. <laughs> Capable of growing facial hair and an avid marijuana addiction. You don't have to point it out, okay? I'm aware. And I'm not going to say I'm poor, I'm not going to do it, but uh, I did wrestle a bag of weed from a mouse this week. <laughs> True story. Nice mental image for you, Macho Mary and Savage in a mouth. Get my weed, brother. <laughs> Doctor says I should start taking vitamins. So I started taking vitamins recently, but uh, they're gummies. So hard like that. So especially hard. Like getting ready. So hard. Like you, they only be flipping through TVs, crazy times. You see shows you didn't even know existed. Like I found one one day called Deer Thugs. That's right. Soak it in. Your mind will be with places. Deer thugs, folks. And, spoiler alert, these deers, they ain't thugs. The hunters ain't thugs. There's no thuggery going on. There's no NWA EZ in the background. No drive-by killings. Like, I ain't saying just go out and murder all creation, but if you're gonna be a deer thug, be a deer thug. Don't fake the funk. You know? That's all I'm saying is keep complaining, oh it's too small, we can't shoot it. No, screw that, it's supposed to be a deer thug, murder them all. <laughs> ah. Like, <laughs> I'm glad to call it the Heisenberg of comedy. I just love you guys to say what I wrote down. Like, any Breaking Bad fans out here? Yeah, I love Breaking Bad. It's going to be sad to see it go, it really is, but I feel like there needs to be a Walter Weiss motivational talk to have. Because with proper editing, it's pretty damn motivational. Just like in one scene, he's telling Jesse, he's like, You're a blowfish. Nobody messes with a blowfish. A blowfish swells up five, six times its size, and nobody knows it's just full of hot air. But nobody, nobody messes with a blowfish. And you, Jesse, you're a blowfish. Jesse hops up, he's like, All right, let's go cook some meth. <laughs> proper editing. Just snipping out that little meth part. Don't make you want to get a job done. That's all I'm saying. Put that out on your phone. I always love when people are like, man, I was born ready, I was born ready, blah, 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 I'm born ready. I say to those people, man, I punched you when you were a baby, and you were not ready, man. I jacked your binky, no problem. <laughs> Give me it. Born ready. Like, anybody out there got a really cute kid, like a family member or a loved one's got a kid so cute, like, I'm talking vomit inducing levels of cuteness. That cute? My nephew's that cute. I'm not even joking. If I could show all of you a picture of my nephew, every one of you is a vagina, would just, oh, straight drawers to the floor, soaking wet. All of your ovaries singing in the choir, me, 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 battling over each other, trying to get in the gene pool. It's because he's that cute. He makes up for all this. I'm going to show one picture, like, oh, I'll get with it. I'll give you a chance just so I can get one of those. <laughs> like, I don't get shallow guys that are like, oh, I can't date her because she's over 30 and 130 pounds. Blah, 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 blah. I'm an asshole. Do you not like meatloaf and blowjobs? <laughs> meatloaf and blowjobs rock, man. Like, I have a theory. If your significant other gives you head and makes you meet Loaf in the same day, wow. they love you. They do. <laughs> or, yep, both of them. It's a massive miracle. Or, or they're cheating. Or the fun part, they're going to murder you. That's right. So, sleep with an eye open. It could be your last blowjob and your last meal. It's a setup, folks. Can you sleep? Sleep with an eye open, that's what I'm telling you. Oh, uh, it's good times. Good beer. I'm gonna take a drink. Just soak it in. Uh, a lot of comics, like, 
Jude earlier. A lot of comics have a rape joke or tell a rape joke, and uh, I just want to let it be known I'm not going to tell a rape joke, not going to do it. Because with me, it's not so much the rape itself as the thrill of the hunt. That's where I get my kicks, folks. Working on them. I don't see. Told you we was going to get weird. Did I tell you we was going to get weird? You guys know how much chicken salad it takes to make a Saturday night better? Say how much? It depends if you're having sex with it. Trick question. I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this. Are you guys aware that every time a lighter dies, a non-smoker gets cancer? I don't make the rules, folks. Don't get mad at me. Okay? I don't make the rules. It's just how shit works, okay? That's my time. I'm Wes Smith. Remember me. I'll be here next week. Wes Smith, keep going for it. You did a good job. Wait, staff did a good job, aren't they?